Umuulan ng mga tropeyo kung saan man ako naroon. Guess where I am? Teka muna, bago guess where I am, guess muna kung sino sila. Oh, hindi nyo pa nakikilala? Si Ate Maria O, oh. babing baby pa, Maricel Soriano. Si Gabi Concepcion, hindi nagbabago. The late Alfie Anido na napakagwapo. William Martinez, Nuki Serna, Dina Bonnevi, Albert Martinez, and Jimmy Melendez. Oh, sila ang mga tinaguriang original Regal Babies. Pero marami pang iba at marami pa talagang mga sumunod. Pero ang kailangan nyo makilala ay ang nag-iisa ngayong Regal Baby ni Mother Lily. You wanna know what she's all about? Eto, sundan nyo ako. Meet! The favorite and number one regal baby of all, the real baby of Mother Lily, Rosel Monteverde. Ayan. Hindi na mapigil. Buti naman may time ka, Corina. Ano ba namang time? Binigyan mo ako ng appointment. Ikaw talaga. Kaya hindi ka na makakawala. Hindi na siya makakawala. Handa ka na ba na isiwalat ang lahat ng mga juicy na mga sikreto ng buhay ng mga artista na pumailalim sa regal? Oh no, but I think game naman go. Game, handa na ba kayo? Eto na kami sa mga sikreto that only Rosel Monteverde can tell. Pagmana at ngayon'y big boss ng Regal Films, eto na Rosel Monteverde in the house! Pagpagmana talaga, parang mana po. Ganun. <laughs> mana galing. po. O, oh, diba? So, siya na nga ang nagmana ng kaharian at ng sakit ng ulo. Diba? So, ang tawag din namin sa'yo ay Mother Rosel. Oh, okay. Totoo ba? Mother Rosel, parang Mother Lily. Mother Rosel. Okay, if that's what you want, why not, <laughs> diba? Why not, why not? Pero, ang regal ngayon ay nasa ika anin na pong anibersaryo niya. Mm -hmm. Hindi ba? So, parang na itong tribute, hindi lang siyempre sa regal kung hindi kay Mother Lily. Yes. Right? And Ro Rosel doesn't mind, why not? So, paano ba nagsimula ang regal? Hindi ba ito dati, 1962? Um, distributor ng foreign films. Yes, tama ka dyan, Corina. Yes. So, actually, nag-start siya doon because my grandfather owned cinemas in Manila before. Uh, these were Podmon Theater and Dilson Theater. Um, so, they needed content, as what we call now content, but uh -huh. actually, pelikula noon. So, my father would go abroad with my with mother to purchase foreign movies. Ah. to distribute it here in the Philippines. Parang ganun din ngayon. Hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin. Uh, produ production na talaga. No, I mean, other people who do ah, foreign yeah. film distribution, ganun ang ginagawa. Yes, yes. Ano-ano nga ba yung mga super hits ninyo dati? Kilala ko lahat. Siyempre, ng lang, mga pelikulang yun. Okay. Oo. Kasi, siyempre, sinasabi lagi ni Mother, yung All Mine to Give, that they only bought it for uh, $500. Oh. And then, it made so much money. Wow. Yeah. Nakakaiyak yung pelikulang yun. <laughs> Tapos ano pa ba? Godzilla. Yeah, yes. Godzilla, my favorite because I would go to the theater and watch it. And also yung Ultraman, the Japanese version, the original Japanese version. Wow. Ultraman. And ang namumuno noon sa pagpili ng mga pelikula was your mom. No, it was my father. Your father? Yes. Ah, nagsimula pa pala ito sa grandfather, uh, sa father mo? Yes, yes. I see. And then, natuto na lang si mother sa kanya? Yes, natuto na lang si mother. Si mother naman ang nag-umpisa ng local production. Ayun. Teka muna, anong tawag mo kay mother Lily? Mommy. Mommy? Ay, <laughs> oo nga, ano? Mommy. Correct, correct, Mommy, correct. Yes. Mommy. So, uh, mula sa pag-distribute ng foreign films, ayun na nakaisip na yung Mother Lily yes. na mag-produce ng sariling pelikula. Natatandaan mo pa ba yun? 
Yung mga panahon na yun? Oo, kasi lagi siya dun sa bahay nag-o-office. During that time, syempre, hindi naman, karamiha, hindi naman maraming pelikula. So, and at the same time, she wants to supervise us. Kaya, most of the time, she works from home. Ah, wow! Ilan ba kayong magkakapatid? There's five of us. Bakit parang hindi ko nakikita yung iba mong kapatid? Siyempre, you know Don Don. Don Don? Ay, si Don Don, oo. Oh. Yeah. High profile po yun. <laughs> Don Don ng bayan yun. Okay. Yes. And then my sister, Sherida. Mm -hmm. Si Meme used to produce yung palibasa lalaki Ay, on ABS. Ay, yes, so, oo. Oh. And then she also had co-production with Douglas Quijano, yung MAQ. Right, Marami right, rin siya right. na produce na local films. Right, oh, that's four. What's, who's the other one? Si Coach Goldwyn. He's ah. coaching for... Can I say? UP. I see. Okay. So, lahat pala kayo talagang active, no? Yes. Pero hindi lahat ay napasok sa pagpipilikula. I mean, but most of you did. Yeah, most of us most did. Most of you did. So, naalala mo pa, ano yung mga eksena ng mami mo noon as a child growing up? Ang mga iconic in your memory. My mom, like as a mother to us, really, she was very tutok, tutok na tutok. From breakfast, what food we eat, and our homeworks has to be done and up to the sleeping time she okay. makes sure make sure that we're taken care of and she's tutok and then when she got into working so she made sure nami nagbabantay sa amin we were under the care of my dad's sister uh -huh. as far as uh, aral but mother when she was working syempre very strict because she came from a very disciplined family educators like my uh, my her her father is the founder of Umi High School. Ah, okay. Yes. It's a Chinese school in uh, in the Chinese community. Oh. oh. Ah, so talagang strict si mother. Yes. <laughs> Totoo pa lang strict si mother. Strict. Pero parang hindi ako makapaniwala na sobrang tutok niya bilang producer. Sobra pa rin ang tutok niya. May oras pa rin siya para makatutok sa pamilya. Yes. Ah. Meron naman. <laughs> wow, super talented ah. True. High strong. High strong. So, ano sa palagay mo? What do you think is that kind of personality who would become a mother? Someone who's, ano talaga, yung, you know, she's very passionate. Passionate siya sa children niya. Passionate siya sa work niya. I mean, that's her life. That's her inspiration. Right, right, right. Okay, so tuloy-tuloy ang yun na. Pagpo-produce ng pelikula ng Regal. Ano ba unang-unang pelikula ng Regal Films? Okay, it started on uh, 1976. Uh, the title was, Kahit sa Umaga, Kahit sa Gabi. Nagulo-gulo nito. Nay, nung na, nasa presinto kami, oh. na, na, sabi namin na ang nanay ko na, nanay, nanay niya pala namatay. Sino ang starring doon? Orestes Ojeda, Elizabeth Oropesa. I think it was patok, otherwise she wouldn't continue producing. Right, okay. But, sa inyo rin galing yung wholesome sa pinaka-wholesome, yes. like Ninyo Mulak. Yes, yes. Yung mga Ninyo Mulak movies, yes. anong child star siya, mm -hmm. ay galing sa inyo. Because that was her second movie in Peter Pandesal. Nung 20, di ba? 15, di lima. Nagbebenta ng Pandesal. Alam mo yung storyline na ganyan, hanggang ngayon pa... Tatabo pa rin pwede. yan. O, oh, pwedeng i-remake mo na lang, hindi eh, ba? Pero, ikaw rin, nag-ambisyon maging child star. Ay, right? Hindi, it was just accidental, no? Ano? Ano accidental? Accidental, hindi, accidental yan. Accidental yung Torina. Kasi, Elwood Perez, yung location ng shoot was in our house. And I don't know, somebody got uh, made a mistake. Wala silang na-call na who can portray a nurse for Vilma Santos. Normal na kayo? No choice. I was in the house after school and they had me convince me and then, syempre, I, I, you know. <laughs> Ganun pala yun. I know. Tapos, syempre, oh. parang I was pushed to the wall na to change in a nurse's uniform. I was in I was high school then. Okay. Imagine. And Pero was, ba talaga pinanaginipan na, o, ito tal naman, pag-aari namin ito, bakit hindi na lang ako ang star, makakatipid sila? I was very shy, Corina. Ah. Okay. Hindi ako masyadong mahilig sa ganyan. Okay. O so, kumusta naman yung pagiging NARS natin Siyempre, sa pinilakang tabi? Oh Siguro nag-take five. Take five Siyempre, at least. Siyempre, natukot ako si Ate V, di ba? Parang, oh. 
baka gusto niya yung tumayo sa kama at gusto na niyang <laughs> tapusin na lang, di ba? At ipack up na lang. Oh. So, because I was uh, struggling with my lines. Okay. Na inyong mga ngayon pa lang nakakarinig ng, ng term na regal baby, yeah, dati yan ang talagang, wow, regal baby yan. Sino nag-isip ng regal baby? It was mother. Ah, mother talaga. It was mother. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi naman siya nakaisip ng mother lily. It was nai lolly too gave her that uh, mother lily ano ah si nanay loli yes ah okay okay so regal baby was mother's idea so sino sino naman ang papaloob sa regal baby well, i think nagumpisa yan with uh, rio loxin sina gina alahar um, alma moreno um, and then nandiyan na sila maricel soriano dina bonaviga di concepcion alfi anido Albert Martinez, William Martinez. I can name a lot, Corina. Right, Baka din right, right. maubos yung oras natin. Correct, correct. Ang daming artista. Ang lalaking mga pangalan. You know, I grew up with all those names, ha? Talaga. I grew up with them, but I didn't grow old with them. <laughs> ako, tumigil na ako ng pagbibilang ng 40. Okay? So, pero malalaking mga pangalan ito. At halos lahat nak- nakapaloob sa regal. Aware ka ba nun na one of the most powerful uh, businesses before really was Regal? Yes, I'm aware oh. naman, yeah. At nung bata ka, syempre, nakikita mo lahat ng mga pinakamalaking artista. Anong effect nun sa bata? Ah, ano, um, syempre ano, I was happy to see them. Kasi syempre they're, you know, unreachable, di ba, for, to a lot of people. So, I would get calls. So, pwede ba kami pumunta sa bahay mo? Mga classmate mo. Mga classmate para ma-meet oh. si Gabby Concepcion. Oh. Di ba? Si Alfi Anido. Right, right, right. Then sa mga guys naman, si Dina Bonnevi, Maricel Soriano, Snooky. Yes, yes. Pumapayag naman si mother. Oh, no problem. No ah, problem. Nagdadala ka talaga ng mga classmate. Ah, swerte naman ng mga classmate yes. mo. Yes. Ha? <laughs> At nililibre mo pa sa sinihan. Tama. <laughs> I'm sure. Tama. Di ba? Pag merong bagong pelikula. Pag palabas lang namin. <laughs> right. So, did you have personal favorites? Among... I know Maricel Soriano became one of your best friends. True. Di ba? Yes. So, pero sino yung parang idol-idol mo noon? Oh my goodness. Sino ba? Vilma Santos, of course. Yes. Nora Honor. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And then, of course, kasi medyo same age na kami ni Maricel Soriano, oh, Snooky. Oh. Correct, correct, correct. Mm-hmm. Pero nako ha, kasing tanyag ng mga artista ng Regal ay si Mother. Mm-hmm. But growing up, talagang kilala si Mother Lily as mercurial and uh, funky. Funky, I think mm-hmm. is the word for it. Parang hindi mo alam kung anong direksyon siya manggagaling. How was it for you na may reputasyon siya? No, kasi Corina, you know my mom, she doesn't stop eh. I don't understand, sometimes she would have... She could produce like 60 movies in a year. Six zero? Six zero. Sometimes like 56. Halos every week we have a showing. Every week we have a showing. Huh? Yeah, she doesn't stop. Parang wow. anyone na lang who talks to her about a concept of a movie, ganon, o sige, gawin na natin. Totoo. Yes, and you know, she's known for that. I mean, she's, she had discovered a lot of directors, not only artists. She has given a lot of our work to a lot of writers. Right. At sa an, sabi mo ng anim na po na pelikula sa isang taon. Mm-hmm. Ilan doon ang ilan doon ang blockbuster? Corina, I wouldn't know. Ah. They go so fast. So kasi I'm sure not everything, you know, every movie was a blockbuster. I don't oh, think so. Oh. But there are good good blockbuster movies, di ba? Na, mag, na in between those. So kumbaga parang halos lahat ng industriya sa inyo nagtatrabaho noon. Um, that I there are other production companies, Corina. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. oh. wow, and daming natulungan, naturuan, and daming na develop, di ba? Dito sa Regal. Yes. Parang, do you think it's one of the, parang, uh, that's the extension of the golden era yes. of the entertainment industry. Yes. Ano? yes. Pero naman kasi yung casting, no? yung mga casting, talagang nagkaroon ng layers of generations. Yes. So, uh, ideya din ni Mother Lily na pabalikin yung mga Sampaguita stars. Yes. LVN stars, yes. right? Yes. Sino-sino yan? Eddie Gutierrez. Nagtitinda noon ng kaldero yes. sa Amerika, pinabalik. Yes. 
Okay, mga sino pa? Susan si, Roses. Susan Roses was already here, but that was the pairing that she really wanted for them to be together in movies. Ah. Family movie oriented naman. Ah, okay. But the easy my mother, yun paano niya naisip na ipasok yung mga poste na yan? Kasi ano siya movie fan. She was a movie fan. Lagi niyang napapanood yan. So, so you know, you know, um, gusto niyang ibalik. Correct, correct. Yung mga inday-inday sa balitaw, mga... Ayun. Um, so, may yung luma hanggang bago. Yes, kahit si Nida Blanca. Mm -hmm. Anak ni Waray, anak ni Biday. With Maricel Soriano and Snooki. Correct. It's part of the movie. Ay, ang ganda nun. So, ano? combination of the 60 stars to the... 80s. 80s, right. Yes. Talagang nag-iisa yung Mother Lily. Ang dami niyang nagawa para sa industriya. Pero syempre, ayun na, kailangan ng uh, mag magpalit ng kabanata. O ayun na, yung pagpapalit ng kabanata. Pero bago nangyari yun, takbo mo na itong isang ito sa Amerika. Yon yung buhay mo sa Amerika. Would you say mal malaking bahagi yun ang buhay mo? Well, definitely. Kasi oh. I learned a lot. Correct. Kasi... Ay gusto namin malaman. Kung ano yung mga natutunan mo sa Amerika. I'm living on my own. Right. Diba? So, um, parang time is very important. Teka muna, huwag mo muna ikwento lahat. Oo. Oh. Eh, magbabalik pa tayo. Sandali. Diyan ka lang. <laughs> This portion is brought to you by Jim's 3 plus 1 Coffee Mix with Ginseng and Jim's 3 in 1 Coffee Mix with Spirulina. Now in Twin Pack, Jim's Coffee Mix, my plus ka sa life. Executive Optical. Oh, kung gusto niyong lumigaya ang inyong buhay, panoorin niyo kami at mag-i-enjoy kayong tunay dahil kahit mali ang sagot mo, pwede kang manalo. Please welcome our Tata Gamers at Benica Drivers! Kunyari, oh, kung sumakay si Diana. Sa akin, libre yan. Yay! Wow! Kaya uli, kunyari, si Amiga at yung pasero mo. Sisingilin ko pa rin po. <laughs> Ano ang city ang kilala bilang pinakamatandang syudad sa Pilipinas? Apo. Bakit mo sabi bigan? Because that's where it all began. <laughs> And this is Tara Game! Agad! 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 Dear boss, Magandang araw, magandang araw, magandang araw, magandang araw. Coding system ang Comelec para matukoy ang mga hotspots sa barangay at sangguni ang kapataan elections. Batay ito sa rekomendasyon ng AFP at PNP. Red category, ang pinakamataas na alert level patungkol sa election areas of concern. Orange category, o may seryosong banta ng mga armadong grupo. Yellow category, may history ng political unrest sa huling halalan. At green category, Walang problema at walang dapat ikabahala sa lugar. Abanga, mata ng halala ang BSKE 2023. Special coverage sa Oktubre at 30. 
mapapanood sa Net25 at mapapakinggan sa Radyo Aguila DCEC 1062 kHz. Maging sa aming provincial stations. Subaybayan din ang aming online updates sa net25.com. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at YouTube. Mata ng halalan BSKE 2023. Dear Boss Len, get ready for the most exciting story na sure akong hindi nyo magbibitawan. Finally! Umabot ka rin. Akala ko hindi ka nasisipot eh. Go na! Make up on mo na si Bride. Bakit po kasi late kayo? Malamang. Hindi lang naman ito yung work ko today. Ang dami-dami nagbubok sa akin kasi ang galing-galing ko. How dare you imply na hindi ako professional? Alam mo, hindi ako makakarating sa estado ko ngayon kung hindi ako professional. O oh, kanya ng mga taong invited. Love, Boss Leng, and Tali. Tuwing linggo, alas sa is ng gabi dito lang sa Net25. Ang tagal ng naging buhay niya sa Amerika. Siyempre, hindi na natin tatanungin niyo. <laughs> hindi na natin tatanungin yung talagang bakit ba't siya umalis ang Pilipinas. That's all in the past. Okay. Pero, doon mo nahanap ang uh, a very important part of yourself, right? So, ano yun? High school? Ito na, doon ka na. No, I was there um, college. 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 Okay. I was bakit in a na, university. Bakit ka napunta sa mga numbers? Kasi bobo po ako sa math. Nagugulat naman ako doon sa biodata mo, yung mga pinagtrabahuhan mo, puro mga big time na mga kumpanya pagdating sa pera. Well, because diba? that's something that is parang uso that time, di ba? That you graduate from business at the same time with counting. Because it was, I graduated, uh, my degree was business um, information systems. So it's a combination of business computerized at the same time computer, using computer. Uh, then at this, um, I also did management, decision science. Ang okay. tawag doon, decision science naman. Kaya, kaya kailangan magaling sa math. Ayun, <laughs> kaya ka na po, enjoy ka naman. Yes, yes, of course. Oo. That was, that, that experience living in abroad on my own, uh, it was a challenge, challenging ano, um, part of my life. But of course, I took it as in a positive way. Diba? So, hindi naman ako parang I was a bum or what. I really worked. Work On your day. own? Yeah. Alam mo, kakaiba yun, ha? Big time na big time ang pamilya mo sa Pilipinas, pero ginusto mo na, supportahan mo ang sarili mo. Diba? Because maybe that's what, that, that's how we are. Even my sister was like that. Now, we like the independence. Even though you make mistakes, as long as you get up from it, you know, the experience is a better way to learn things. Bakit sa palagay mo? Kasi strict si mother. Yeah. At saka si father dito. <laughs> Tama ba? I think ganoon. Parang it's growth, you know? Oh. You live on your own. Oh, oh, you grow on your own. You correct. you discover yourself. Correct, correct. Pero, gano'ng kahirap? Ang hirap nun, Rosella. Mahirap yun. Paano mo na itawid lahat yun? Um, ano lang? Uh, just, you know, planning. Organizing your life. Time management. Diba? Because in America naman, if as long as you know how to do that, everything seems to be easy because everything is very accessible. Mm. So bagay yan, no? Yeah. Saan ba? California, California ka San ba? Francisco. San Francisco. So medyo urban, madali ang buhay. Kung marunong ka, yes. hindi ba? Gano Especially ka? you need to drive, di ba? Ah, nagmamaneho ka rin. Importante yun. Yes. Lalo sa California. Yes. Right. So gaano ka katagal doon? 21 years. Wow. 21 years. Ang dami mong natutunan. Sa inyong magkakapatid, ikaw lang ang talagang sumabak sa buhay ng ganun. Saan? Sa... Yung mag-isa ka lang. Oh, yes. Ako lang. Ikaw lang. And for that long, right? Yes. Oo. Pero habang nandoon ka, taki, meron ka pa rin partisipasyon sa Regan. Yeah. Kahit paano. In, in what capacity? That was towards the 90s when yung mga videos na uso. So there were, you know, a lot of uh, large Filipino community who was able to distribute the movies that we produce here in the U.S. North, Northern America, actually. Kasama na Canada dun. Okay, okay. Pero habang nag-finance-finance ka, business, management, 
Yung utak mo ba, na, nawala ba yan sa pelikula, sa negosyo niya sa Regal? Hindi mo naisip na balang araw, yung Regal, kailangan tumulong ka na rin. Hindi ko naisip. <laughs> Because I thought I would live there, you know, until uh, up to this age, di ba? Oh, I see. O ngayon, eto na. Paano nangyari na bumalik ka ng Pilipinas at eto na ikaw na si Mother Roselle? Well, my mom really wanted me to come back. She said, tama na yan ha, bumalik ka na. You don't wanna grow old there, you come back here, okay? Ah, ganun lang yun. Yes. I see. Oh, balik ka naman, no questions asked. Yeah, balik naman ako. At ayun na ang pagsisimula ng bago na namang kabanata, <laughs> hindi lang ni Roselle Monteverde, kung hindi ng Regal Films. <laughs>
more than anything else. Uh -oh. Kaya no choice. Kung baga no choice siya, kaya siguro akong pinili niya no choice siya. Ayun. Okay. Pero hindi ka naman, ano, hindi ka naman nagpumigla. So parang, ay, ayoko niyan. Or, okay, I'll, I'll take up the challenge. What was it for you? I, I, I took up the challenge. Mm. Kasi, um, parang ano rin naman eh. I mean, working for her, for the family. Mm -hmm. It was something that I think I have to do. Uh -oh. At the same time, I kind of like it. Okay. Pero natuturo ba yung tinatawag na pulso? May kasama bang pulso itong style Mother Lily? Or she just trusts the instinct of the creators? Meron din. Pulso. Importante. Because of course, matagal na siya sa showbiz, the experience that she learned. That creative a very good, you know, intuition. Mm. Um, insights. Okay. So ano yan? Naipapasa ba yun? Naituturo ba yun? Do you also have it inborn? Wala naman. I need oh. to learn a lot. I need to learn a lot. And I was lucky that she was at my side. And she was still, what, at her 50s during that time. So she has so much energy pa. Oh. Diba? Kaya I was really lucky to be learning side by side with her how to run Regal. It I wasn't, see. yeah. Ah, kaya pala, yun, inseparable kayo. Parati kayong magkasama, ano? Yes. Natututo ka na pala nun sa kanya. Okay. O, sige. So, ano ba natutunan mo sa kanya? Alam mo yun? Like what? Budget. Ay, oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Budget. <laughs> Budget. Kore. So, kailangan talaga, ang isang project, ipagkasa mo ang budget. Yes. Hands-on siya talaga sa budget ko rin. Alam mo, actually, si mother doesn't read scripts. Oh. She can say that to you. She doesn't. Ang nangyayari sa kanya is, someone reads to her, pero makita mo, may tulog na. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> ganyan, kinikwento naman niya yan. Uh -oh. um, ang kanya is important is the budget. Ayun. Eh, magaling ka naman doon sa mathematics, di ba? <laughs> Oo. I also learned, of course. Right. So, ito yung mga bagay na nangyari. Uh, sa, masasabi ba natin medyo taghirap ang industriya ng pelikula? Hindi pa eh, no? Hindi ba? Ano pa noon? Namamayag pagpanoon? That's when, you know, that year, when I got here, that's when Manupo came out. Michelle, bakit ngayon ka lang? At bakit kanya na sinuot mo? Gawin pa ba natin issue itong damit ko, did she? The first one, that's when um, yung Yamashita, we did Yamashita. Umaita-san-ra-kara-20-yo-koro-tsu! We did Aishite Mas. Ang lalaki ng mga pelikula. Magpipitong taon na kayo nakikipaglaban ng iyong ama. Pero hanggang ngayon wala pa rin nangyayari. Matagat na. Yung mga period movies. Ano ba? Special effects kahit hindi pa digital noon. Pelikula pa siya talaga. You know, 35mm films. Yes. Kaya bakit nga ba wala ng mga period movies ngayon? Ano? Yung mga ganun. Ang scales. Nakakapag-training ka during those days na talagang gintong-ginto pa ang yes. pinilakang tabing noon. Kailan medyo sa palagay mo humirap? Parang naging mas mahirap na para sa mga producers ang paggawa ng pelikula. Siguro nung the time na... I think there was the time in the year 2006, between 2006 and 2012, medyo humina siya. Maybe it's because of the influx of also internet. Diba? During that time, parang, I know internet started year 2000. But then, it took a while for us to absorb that. So, yung time na 2006 to 2012, parang naging busy na yung tao, browsing through the net and all. Mas nakikita na nila, nila yung the, you know, Hollywood movies being promoted. Diba? So, uh, there's a competition to that. And since then, ako parang nagtuloy-tuloy na ano, yung parang, Uh, naging mas madali ba? Naging mas madali ba? O naging mas mahirap ba? In the age of the internet at yung access ng mga tao sa pelikula para sa inyo? It's ano eh. It's a... Um, there's a... There's a good way to look at it and there's a bad way also. Um, but of course, you always want to look 
you want to use it in a good way, di ba? Mm -hmm. So promotion. Eh, wala kang choice. Yes. You wala have to choice. adapt. Oh. You need to adapt. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Especially now, after the pandemic. Diba? During the pandemic, parang walang sinihan. So everyone resorted to digital content mm -hmm. as a, during their free time to watch. Diba? Kaya dun uh, sumikat ang mga OTT platforms. Mm -hmm. Mga teleserye ng mga Korean novela, mga ganon. So, naging parang go-to entertainment na ngayon ng mga OTT platforms. Now, you have to change the way you produce movies. How to get the cinema, audience go back to the cinema. Diba? Correct. So, you need to put in more in oh, your production oh. value. Palagay mo ba, Rosel, babalik pa yung panahon na talaga ang tao magsisiksikan at pipila talaga sa ano sa sinihan. We were hopeful sana, 'di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Nag-change rin ni maraming sinemas natin dati kasi standalone siya, 'di ba? Mm -hmm. So now naging multiplexes na rin. So lumiliit yung mga capacity for each cinema, pero marami na siya in one in one branch. Right. right. So there's so many changes. Mm -hmm. Ang dami ng evolution ng showbiz, oh. not only sa paggawa ng pelikula pati doon sa platforms. How are you managing the adapting to the change? Kayo sa Rigal. Well, we produce. We don't. We don't. We we produce. If it's for cinema, we produce uh, cinema to have that cinema experience felt by the audience, de ba? So, mm -hmm. and then if it's for digital platform, so more on mga romcom, love stories that they can watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ayon. So, ano muso ngayon? Kasi hindi ba sabi nga natin kanina parang. Uh, sa pelikulang Pilipino, mauuso action. Mm. Diba? Yung mga panahon nila, Rudy Fernandez, uh, mga Ace Verhel, tapos biglang magiging fantasy, ayan yung mga superheroes, mm. na magiging rom-com. Ganun ba talaga ang uh, personality ng industriya sa Pilipinas? Well, may mga trends ka that you follow and you observe, you know. But then, I still believe a good narrative can really make it pa rin. Uh, regardless new, of uh, genre. Regardless of genre. Mm. Good narrative, good production value, um, something that is relevant to the movie audience, the, the, the quality that they can experience. Because everything now, like even in restaurants, ano bang experience meron dito, di ba? Parang we always talk about you know, how I would be an audience when I watch this movie. Matatawa ba ako? Matatakot ba ako? Ay, matatakot. Parang talagang naging forte ninyo yung horror, ano? <laughs> parang naging forte ninyo yung parang light horror, right? So, uh, kanina pinag-uusapan natin yung Shake, Rattle, and Roll. Pero yung Shake, Rattle, and Roll, I think it's here to stay. Tapang ilang Shake, Rattle, and Roll na ba ito? Merry Christmas, children! Do you remember my name? Gary the Goat, you are my friend. I think it's the number 16. Okay, number 16 na. Yes. Ang dami na. Eh, amano po naman. Okay, ready? Smile! Nakailang mano po natin. Seven, and then we had the... Uh, series also. Right, on Dan, TV. On TV. Nakatatlo Ayon. kami dun. Yun ang mga iconic na mga regal, eh, no? Di ba yung mga uh, Shake, Rattle and Roll, Mano po. Ano pa sa palagay mo yung mga pelikulang nagpa-icon sa regal films? Marami dyan. Kasi alam mo, di ba my mom has been criticized with producing pito-pito movies? Oo nga, pito-pito. Ayan. Galing <laughs> talaga yan, regal. Meaning, ano, Shot. pitong araw? Pitong araw na shoot. Okay. Uh Oo. -oh. So, but then, that gave paved way to a lot of um, acclaimed directors. Even the movies that were made and the scripts that were written were really award-winning naman. Bakit ba napunta sa pito-pito ang paggawa ng pelikula noon? Maybe during that time, medyo hirap din ang movie industry. So, my mom wanted to continue producing. So, binadget niya talaga. Na pitong araw. Pitong araw. At syempre, mga artista, and even the uh, creative teams, willing, di ba? Para lang makalabas sila ng kanilang talent. Yeah. So, sa ngayon, saan sa palagay mo papunta ang, ang isang production outfit like uh, Regal Films? Alam, ngayon kasi, we, you cannot like uh, not look at, you know, the different platforms. So, you need to be exposed to that. You need to know uh, ito yung market for this uh, platform. Let's say it's an OTT platform. 
it's a different audience. Ganun na talaga ngayon uh, sa digital. And then we also have the YouTube, yung mga iba-ibang digital platforms. Mm. So, so doon na talaga, content yeah. creation na talaga. Content creation and you, you parang you curate uh, content depending on the demographics of the platform. Of the platform. Yes. Kasi sa ngayon talagang gagawa ka ng content, pwedeng lumabas sa channel na ito, tong yeah. channel na ito, pwedeng online lang, pwedeng, uh, di ba? Netflix lang, gano'n, ano? So, do you think ready ang regal na sumakay sa bandwago na yan? Yes, that's what we've been doing mm. since nung pandemic. Kasi nung pandemic, we didn't stop. Even during the 2020, nag-shoot pa kami ng pelikula with Chito Ronyo. Wow! Yung uh, ang mga kaibigan ni Mama Susan. Oh, punta na ako sa test. Gusto mo maket? Hindi! Sa kwarto! Meron ikaw doon, sabi ni Kuya. Which is, you know, sold to exclusively to an OTT platform. And then we also shot that one of Lovipo and Carlo. Hindi ka ba nalulungkot? Wala hang kayakap, tapos wala hang katext na good morning, good night, I love you, at saka, o lang kinain mo na, kumain ka na ba? Na it became a branded movie in one of the platforms. So we, 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 we did not stop producing. And then the first Manopo series that came out on a network right. that was shot also during the pandemic. So, nung January uh, 2022, oh. may pinalabas kami. So, proud ka naman na even throughout those hard times, ang regal ay namayagpag pa rin. Yes, yes. Oo, proud ako na, you know, um, saying it was hard to produce during the pandemic because of the protocols. And di mo alam kung saan ka, mamimili ka pa ng location who would who would let us shoot? Kasi siyempre, everyone's so scared of, you know, spreading the COVID, di ba? Right. Today, ano sa palagay mo ang pinaka mahirap na bahagi ng pag-produce? Um, producing for the cinema. For the cinema? Yes. Kasi siyempre, gusto mong maganda kasi malaking screen. Yes, plus, of course, the affordability of going to the cinema is more expensive now. Oo. Because the cost has gone up, you know, electricity, Lahat has gone up. Even for the cinema operators, it has gone up. Right, So, right. talagang, you know. Ayun. Pero parang iba pa rin, ano? Iba pa rin sa big screen. Yes, iba pa rin. Nag-ano na ba? Parang bumalik na ba? Nag-normalize na ba ang movie-going public to the cinemas in any other part of the world? Um, I would presume, yes. I think in, uh, in the U.S. it did. Oh. Uh, in other countries like Indonesia, it did. Oh, oh. In but not as big as before. Um, or naabot na pa rin? Naman. Ah, naaabot pa rin. So, may pag-asa pa? Oh, oh. There were movies na, I mean, you know, un unexpectedly mm. surpassed even the superhero movies in the US. Oh, wow. So, meaning? Pwede ba sabihin? Barbie. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah. Regal is here to stay. 60 years, pero andyan pa rin talaga siya. Pero nag-iibang anyo, ano? <laughs> At kakayanin mo yun. Kakayanin mo yun under Mother Roselle. Way to tour tayo ni Roselle. I wonder kung anong mga titignan natin. Handa ka na ba? Yes, yes. If you're ready, let's go. This... Lutong Daza dito sa Net25. Ako, si Sandy Daza. At ako naman si Patty Daza and we are The, the Cooking, Cooking Cousins. Asahan nyo ang mas nakakatakam na mga recipes. Mas malakas na halakakan. <laughs> At tawag ko rito putput eh. <laughs> putput. At syempre mga celebrity guests na game na game. Express sa boy. Kita kit sa kusina. Lutong Daza, Saturdays, 11 a.m. sa Net25. We're in the sky! Kaya lumilipad na naman tayo. Sino ba itong uupo ngayon sa ating iconic chairs? Finally, nag-guess na rin ako dito. 
<laughs> Just cancelled everything for you. Talaga? Ay, naku, nakakatuwa naman. <laughs> Medyo kakaiba ang ating papasukin ngayong araw. The Goodwill Resort with the Goodwill Cast. Woo! Tinur niya tayo sa kanyang bagong buong mundo. Tamang-tama, pinag-uusapan sila ng lahat ngayon. Niya ka! Ayan na. Ayan na. Alam mo talaga siya, 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 no? Yes! Patlong buwan! Kinasal ka na! Yes! Ngayon natin malalaman ang totoo. So now, let's spill the coffee. Spill the coffee. And we're here at Net25. Ito ang tahanan ng Corina Interview. Isa sa gawa ang barangay at sangguni ang kabataan elections sa may higit sa 42,000 barangay sa buong Pilipinas. Dito pipili ang taong bayan ng punong barangay at pito sa walong miyembro ng sangguniang barangay. Kasabay nito ang paghalal ng mga kabataan ng sangguniang kabataan chairperson at pitong SK counselor sa bawat barangay. Ang mga mananalo ay magsisilbi hanggang 2025 at muling kakwin ang BSKE kada tatlong taon. Abangan! Mata ng Halalan BSKE 2023 Special Coverage sa Oktubre 30 Mapapanood sa Net25 At mapapakinggan sa Radyo Aguila DZEC 1062 kHz Maging sa aming provincial stations Subaybayan din ang aming online update sa net25.com Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Youtube Mata ng Halalan BSKE 2023 Dear Boss Len, get ready for the most exciting story na sure akong hindi niyo mabibitawan. Finally, umabot ka rin. Nakala ko hindi ka nasisipot eh. Go na. Make up on mo na si Bride. Bakit po kasi late kayo? Malamang. Hindi lang naman ito yung work ko today. Ang dami-dami nagbubok sa akin kasi ang galing-galing ko. How dare you imply na hindi ako professional? Alam mo, hindi ako makakarating sa estado ko ngayon kung hindi ako professional. O kanya ng mga taong entitled. Love, Boss Leng, and Tali. Tuwing linggo, alas 6 ng gabi dito lang sa Net25. Lika, Corina, come here. This is the legal studio. Wow, wow, wow. Ano naman, ang ganda naman ng bahay na ito. This used to be Nora Honor's house. Nora Honor used to live here. Bahay to dati ni Nora. Yes. Na binili ni Mother. Yes. Because? Um, I think that time, it was for sale. Ah, okay. Ay, nako, si Guy, ate Guy. Mahilig sa bahay, di ba? Kilala siya ng palipat-lipat-lipat. Yes, yes. Ayo, so ito yung isa sa mga, na medyo nagtagal siya dito. Oh, mat matagal siya dito. Ah, okay. Itong piano na ito. Oh. Maraming kwento ang piano na yan. Yes. You know, At bakit puro picture ni Mother Lily? Kasi... Well, she loves ano eh, taking pictures with celebrities or with her artists like Chris Aquino, Gabby Concepcion. Talagang gusto niyang may picture siya together. Ah. And alam mo ba may kwento dito sa piano na to? Okay. Uh, nung one time na uh, nagsushooting dito, na sa labas pa, papasok dito, biglang natigil because she was playing her, you know. Ah, piano. nandito pa rin siya. So, siya ang cause of delay. Cause of delay. <laughs> Mahilig kasi naman. Hanggang ngayon, di ba nagpa-piano pa si Mother? She has three grand pianos. Oo. Oh, oh. And then, she would check that every week to make sure na nakatune sila. Talaga? She plays every wow. week. Wow! Ibang klase din naman yung mother mo. Ang mother ng bayan, si Mother Lily. Isang concert pianist pa! Yeah. Imagine! Yeah. At ano naman itong mga award na ito? Ayun. Well, these are from different award-winning ano, bodies, no? So, okay. these are the movies that she won as best for Best Picture. And I think one of those are ano, Sister Stella L. Ay! Masasabi mo bang one of your favorites ang Sister Stella L? Yes, of course. Iconic! Uh, yes. Oo. Uh, ano pa? Mano po. Mano po, syempre. Mm -hmm. Ayun. Ano pa? Relasyon. Relasyon? Sa inyo din yun. Eh, ano pa nga ba? Lahat naman yata, eh, regal. Hindi. Yung mga panahon na yun, di ba? 
So, wow. Hindi na mabilang. Nabilang nyo na ba lahat ng mga awards-awards? No, there are more. Marami pa doon. Ang dami pa. Nakatago. Oh. Meron din sa house niya. Correct. So, itong house na ito, Rosel, gina ginagamit din talaga itong ano ngayon. Parang set. Yes. Location. Yes. Like for what uh, movies or what TV shows? Well, we did a lot na. Kasi it can change naman eh. So, the most recent was Mano Po. Ah, kaya pula. Ha? Kaya pula ang kulay para sa mano po. Okay. Here are more of uh, the favorites. Ano ang, ano ang pinaka, ano sa'yo, uh, distinguished dyan? Siyempre, mga Urian, Metro Manila Film Festival, FAMAS, Oo. Film Academy. Anong mas importante? Yung kumita ang pelikula o manalo ng award? Siyempre, pareho. Ay, ang daya. You wanna have it all. Of course, di ba? Because, you know. Kailangan pareho. <laughs> Tumpa. Kasi eh, pag hindi, paano ka pa makakagawa ng award winning? Kung lugi ka naman. Tama, ano? Okay, so those are some of the favorite movies of all of Regal's time. Pero, sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, meron silang isang sikreto. O, oh, di ba sikreto daw? Alam mo, gusto ko itong suotin. <laughs> gusto ko suotin ang Regal Camison. Sige na, try it. Huh? Bigla kang ano. You know what? Gusto kong sumikat. Gusto kong sumikat. <laughs> sikat ka na. <laughs> gusto kong sumikat na kahit na 40 years old na ako, magsusuot pa rin ako ng kamison na ito. Ayan! Ito po yung kamison na sinasabi at kin kinikilala ng buong industriya na kapag sinuot daw ng isang artistang babae sa pelikula, yun na ang rising star ng regal. Tama ba ang kwento? Tama. Correct? Sino-sino na ang nagsuot ng kamison? Rio Loxin, Gina Alahar, Sherry Hill, Sino Lorna pa? Tolentino, Aba, Claudia Sobel, Tina oh. Bonnevi. Wow! Itong kamison na ito ay merong dalang ano, no? Something. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. So talagang tinago eh. Talagang nakamanikin talaga siya, di ba? So sino naman ang nakaisip nung kamison? Uh, I think it was Mother and Joey Gosengfiao. Ah, okay. So sabi nila, o oh, sige, pasuotin natin doon ang pasuotin. Okay, so saksi natin ang bahay na ito na pinagsushootingan ng marami sa mga naging pelikula at serye ng, ano, ng uh, Regal. So kilala talaga ni Rosel, up close and personal, ang mga iniidolo lang natin ng mga artista. Ano ang mga alam ni Rosel tungkol sa mga artista ng ito na hindi niyo nalalaman? Halimbawa, ayan, uh, Maricel Soriano. Ano ang hindi namin alam tungkol kay Maria? Si Maria, yes. actually akala nila mataray siya pero napakabait. Okay. Actually, we had a lot of fun times together when I was in high school. Sobrang ano, nakasundo ko siya. Oh. Because she's so real as a person. Right, right. Diba? Ah, um, walang, walang kaplastikan. Totoo ba? Hindi ba siya nakakatakot? No, no, no. Totoo? She's very nice. Ano ang hindi alam ng tao tungkol kay Gabby Concepcion? Si Gabby, syempre crush ko yun. Ay! Crush ka pa yan. Ka-schoolmate ko yan. Pero hanggang tingin na lang kaming lahat. Diba? Oh. So when I first saw him sa bahay, sabi ko, sabi ko sa sister ko, hey, tingnan mo, ang gwapo. Siya yung close-up boy, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Ay, close-up boy. Correct. And congrats, Gabby, sa iyong uh, concert, di ba, with Sharon. Ano hindi alam ng tao tungkol kay Carmina Villaruel? She started as a young star. Uh, na-discover siya sa isang commercial. So, agad-agad tinawag siya ni Mother, ang cute ng girl na yan. Gamitin na natin sa movie. So, Anong hindi alam na tao tukol kay Aiko Melendez na ngayon ay konsehala na? Well, Aiko Melendez, kasi she came from a father who's a regal baby, si Jimmy Melendez. Ay, Pogi! Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. So, nung bata pa si Aiko, lumabas na yan sa Don't Cry For Me, Papa. Ah, in She regal. was still a, a, a kid. Wow! O, oh, hindi alam ng tao yon. Yes. Hindi nila alam yon. Eh, si Rufa Gutierrez, meron pa bang hindi nalalaman ng tao ito kay Rufa? Na napakadalda ni Rufa. <laughs> ano hindi nila alam about her? Si Rufa! Nako, baka mapagalitan ko ng mother niya si Tita Annabelle. Ako bahala sa'yo. Malakas ako kay Tina, Tita Annabelle. Well, Siyempre, alam naman natin na naging sila ni Soren de Gaspi. Yeah. Di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Saksi ka doon. Oh. You're a witness! Okay, Rufa, you're booking Richard Gomez. Ano, a bata pa rin. Hindi naman bata. You know, he was uh, parang almost 20 years old when he started in Regal. His first movie na naging malakas naman is Super Islaw. Superhero siya dun. 
Ayun. Yes. Baka hindi nyo na natatandaan kasi ang tingin nila kay Goma ngayon, di ba? Parang mayor effect na siya. Gary V. What don't we know about Gary V? Ga- Gary V started movie yung ano, um, Maria Maria come, uh, Came to Town. It was a major musical. Kaya siya napunta rin doon with Martin Yevera. And of course, favorite ko si Gary V, di ba? I produce his concerts when I was staying in the U.S. Oh, I was well, still a student. I was oh. still a student in the U.S. Ka na? Yes, I produce oh. his concert in the U.S. Okay. Well, panoorin nyo yung series ng concerts si Gary V. Napakagaling pa rin. Okay. So, ikaw pala nagpo-produce kay Gary noon. What about Shasha Padilla? Shasha Padilla, the big hit. Starzan, mm. siya yung leading lady. Ah. Ni Joey De Leon. Okay. Oh, favorite leading lady siya, no? Itong si Shashing. Ano ba? Matakaw ba yan? Shasha. Lahat naman tayo matakaw yan sa so tingin ko. Totoo yun. <laughs> Totoo yun, di ba? Mm. Si Chris Aquino, o oh, ito. Si Chris Aquino. What about from the yesteryears? Anong hindi alam ng tao about Chris? So, si Chris Aquino, um, during the time, uh, uh, bago siya nagpelikula, nag-ano muna siya, nag-television uh, show. Gano pa siya, anthology muna ah, siya. Ah, yes, yes, Uh-oh. yes. Uh-oh. And then, um, Kasi she actually my mom was invited by you know the late president uh, Cory Aquino Uh-oh. because you know they were saying that you know si Chris really wanted to be in showbiz. Ayo, ay so, kayo ang unang una. Yes, yes. Oh wow. So she made her come out muna sa television before the hits of Pito Dida. <laughs> ang laking hit ng Pito Dida. Yes, and it was a big hit. It was a big hit, you yes. know, just like Mano po yes. was a big hit. Yes. Ito ba ang unang-unang mano po? Yes, that's the first mano po. Ah, si Chris Aquino na pala yun. Yes, oo. Uh, Oo, si Maria. This was 2001. 2001. Wow, it's a great cast. Kasama si Richard Go. Oh, sige. Ano ang anecdote mo dito sa mano po na hindi alam ng tao? Walang mano po naman eh. May pinagbabasihan ng kwento, di ba? From experiences ng mom ko as a... Uh, in, in the Chinese community. So, a lot of that um, story were pulled out from our own stories. Your own story? Ay, kailangan panoorin natin ulit. Kwento daw. Hango kay Mother Lily. 16, Shake, Rattle, and Roll. Extreme. Kailan ipapalabas ito? November 29. Ayo, November 29. Bakit extreme? Extreme kami matatakot? Oh, extreme kami matatakot. At saka, we really made it exclusively for the cinemas. This is what I mean by, you know, you have um, uh, mga palabas na sa different platforms. So, ito talaga, we feel like it has to be a cinema experience. Ang galing naman. I really think that uh, Regal on its 60th year is just starting. Mm-hmm. Diba? Para tayo nagsisimula ulit, right? O, oh. well. oh, hindi mo akalain, ma-interview kita. <laughs> Totoo. O, oh, hindi ba? Si Rosel, nakatatanda lang po sa akin ito ng isang taon. <laughs> Pero walang mo. Secret. Mo. Secret. Huwag kayo mag-google, ha? So, we are celebrating not our birthdays. By the way, kaka-birthday ko lang din. Kundi ang birthday ng Rigal. Happy birthday, Ooh. 60th. Happy birthday, Rigal! And congratulations, Mother Lily. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah! Yay! Wow! 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 Meron pa tayong paganon talaga, hindi ba? Thank you to Rigal Films so for much. all Thank the you. stories, for all the movies, for the history of Philippine cinema. Yay! Thank you. Picture, please. This per-